Many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Well, space is there. And we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Hey guys, I'm Mike and welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. Now before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to the other Mike over at Drone Supremacy. He let me borrow a couple of his clips uh, that you saw there in the intro of him dive bombing off the cliffs over there on the west coast. Um, gorgeous scenery and he's a way better FPV pilot than I am. I'm a beginner. That's why I love this drone and maybe you're a beginner too, so this review is for you. Um, go over and check out his channel, I'll put a link in the description. And thanks again, Mike, for letting me use that awesome footage. This is the all new DJI FPV first person view drone. Now this drone, since it's come out, has split the FPV community in half. About 50% of the people love it, they get it, they understand what it's for and who it's for. The other 50% think it's complete garbage. Today we're gonna go over why this drone may not be for those people, but why it's for me and why it may be for you. So who did DJI make this FPV drone for? I'll tell you who, me. People who are wannabe FPV pilots. I'll admit it, I'm not good at them. I have about three hours experience on a simulator and I did buy one of these ready builds. I don't even know how to build them. And I've flown this for a couple hours and I'm not very good at it. Uh, it's really hard, extremely difficult. I wanna learn, but I'm not there yet. Right around the time I was trying to learn how to fly this, this was released and I got one right away. And let me tell you what, um, I am having a blast. This thing is so much fun and it has some safety features in it that most DJI drones have that these little custom built ones or pre-built um, FPV drones just don't have. Basically, the people at DJI thought, it's just not fair that the average person can't experience the amazing thrill of first person view flying like these guys who build these custom quads get because it takes them hundreds of hours to learn how to build these and fly them. It's a huge learning curve. And only they, until now, have got to reap the rewards of that hard work. But now, all you need is money for $1,300, you get this entire setup with the version two DJI goggles, you get the drone, a battery, and a controller. Um, I also picked up this motion controller, which I'm gonna show you why this is some next level tech right here. This is my favorite. I, I'm gonna admit it right now, I don't even really use this controller. I've only been using this because I feel like I'm a blue angel jet fighter when I'm using this motion controller. But we're gonna show you that in a minute. But first, one of these people who has spent hundreds of hours building and learning to fly crazy tricks and acro with these quads is my friend Ken from Original Dobo. And I took this down to South Florida to meet up with him and have him show me how to work this thing for my first flight. My mic is like, <laughs> He's like, I've got the best SD cards. Nobody has better SD cards than me. 422 10-bit. I've got the A7S III, only the best mics. Nothing's better than what I have. Did you get your wanker? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Look. I am an amateur at flying FPV, but I brought this out here and I forgot the actual controller. So he calls this the wanker, but I'm gonna use the motion controller today and do my first flight and uh, I'm just gonna make sure he doesn't wreck it because it's $400, oh, yeah. so. There's an arm switch right here. There's this red button. Yep. Now, when you're in this mode, we're gonna be flying in what we call normal mode, uh -huh. all right? So double tap that arm switch. All right, so that starts the props. All right, there should be some prompts there teaching you how to go. Motor starting, press and hold lock button to take off. Sport right. mode, it says. Okay, well, 
Yeah, so you're gonna wanna be very ginger about how you do things. Whatever you do, that's gonna do, okay? I'm in sport mode, that's not good, right? Well, you're gonna be okay. We're not gonna crash it, I don't think. Now, pull the trigger a little bit. All right, hang on, slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. Don't right. go up with it. Keep it down. Okay. Keep it down. Okay. All right, Just so point I, that little dot where I wanna go, right? Yeah. I'm going slow. Okay. I can't see my battery or anything. What do you mean you can't see your battery? All I have is a menu to the side. I okay. think I need to be on status. Uh, hit the exit out of there. Can oh, you see the middle anything? button? Yeah. Okay, now I got it. All right. Okay, 92%. Okay. All right, so now I can see Pull what you see. Pull the trigger. Through. All right, so tw twirl that around a little bit. Towards so, us? Yeah, twirl it around towards us. You're going to rotate the drone towards us. So whatever way you go, it's going to go. So you want to come around. No, you don't have to move it. You can just, I think it's facing us now. Now it's facing us. All right, so pull your accelerator. It's just sort of like a plane a little bit. There okay. you go. Just gently. Okay, I see Daryl filming us. There's Daryl. I see you looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. All right. So now you want to just sort of get a good feel for it and just turn it left to right. That's going to sort of yaw it about. There you go. Yeah. That's and then whatever direction you want it to go, all you have to do is think it or move your hand and it'll but how do it. I? How do I? I'm kind of stuck going this way. No. Okay, there we go. I've worked it around. Okay, I feel pretty right. confident. You feel confident? Yeah. Some reason I just, I, I don't know, man. You make me nervous. Why? Because you're going up. Don't go up too high, Michael. Why? Where are you going? It's so easy. Don't say that. There's cables there. I, I know. I'm about to turn around. Let me turn around. Okay. But how do I keep turning around? Because uh, okay, you're going to lean. Again. So you're going to want to also remember you have another axis of your wrist. You can also. See how you can sort of do that oh, too. Oh, that you know what I'm yeah, there, so think that of, makes think sense. Think of it like as a virtual joystick. Pretend like it's an Oculus. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay, coming back. I see the H, the home point virtually. I'm gonna Isn't come that up cool? here. And remember too, whatever you do with your hand, you're gonna decrease or increase your altitude. Yep, I got it. Okay, where should I go now? I don't know. Uh, Let me go over this way. There you go. Be careful now. You got cables over there. You just want to be careful. I'm stay low. Try to go between those palm trees. I'm going right between them. All right, try to take the, what about those, those skier, uh, skinnier palm trees? Can you get between those? Uh, I believe so. This is making me a nervous wreck. Is it really? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Has he got it? Oh, you got that all day. Look at you, you're like a pro, dude. Some people are pinchers, some people are thumbers, and then you got some people who are wankers. I, which is, I got the, okay. You're a wanker. How fast is this thing right it now? Really fast, but I wouldn't go that, I mean, no, you, you, you can do about 50, 50 plus miles an hour in sport mode. I'm slowing down. All right. Coming around the corner. All right, it sees us. All right, maybe give it a little rip. See how fast you can get it going straight line. Woo! Lord, that thing can move. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like you're playing a virtual video oh game. Oh my goodness. Let me come. Look at the Jesus, the birds. What? Where? You don't see the birds? No. Is there birds? You're an oblivious pilot. I didn't see the birds. Are you making that up? I no, like I'm not. I'm not making it up. There was birds. So you also got to account for the fact yeah, that it's gotta, there, when it's going that fast, it takes a while. There's to got stop. some braking time time frame in there. Oh my god, it's so fast. I'm at. It says the goggles are at 90 percent. Is that my so drone battery? So you're gonna see your drone oh, battery. I see 88. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You can fly a little bit. Can I go up higher one time? Yeah, you yeah, go higher. Okay. It's your drone. If you lose it, it's on you. Here we go. I'm above the wires now. Okay, you're above the wires. You're in open air. Yeah. How's that feel on it? Like, does that feel natural? Yeah. This is easy. I'm gonna swoop back down. Okay. Swooping down. It looks. Down. It looks really fluid. Swooping back down. All right. Watch them wires. Okay. This is like a video game, huh? Yeah. Now I'm gonna slow her down, and I'm gonna come in between these trees. And now I'm gonna, oh yeah, I got it all day. Shoot between these trees. I see the birds. All right, hang, a hang a right, hang a right. Yeah, you got, watch some wires, you got some wires. I saw red. Yeah, yeah, don't. Okay. Oh, where are you going? Oh no, where are you going? Oh, you're above us. I know. You know what it is? When I don't know a pilot, I get nervous. Well, this is literally my first time using the yeah, motion controller. Yeah, I know. Again, so. that's, that's why I'm a little nervous. Oh, so I got the bird. Because I watched a guy crash this into the water yesterday, so. 
a little yeah. apprehensive. Well, what's a good tip is if you turn it like this, it doesn't continue to turn. No, you so got to get you gotta, stuck. But you if you lean of, it, then you can just spin around in a circle. Again, a virtual joystick. That's the problem. A lot of people think they only have you know two axes, but you actually have a third axis. Which how is, fast is it coming? It was moving. It was cooking. Um, this screen said you were going. Well, I'm going. The wind's coming in my face. Yeah. So I must have been going with the you wind. You know what I'm going to say right here? This camera, I don't know if you. Tell me just, how fast. It's, Tell me how fast it's looking good. Dude, you're moving. Whoa! How fast was that? Uh, it's in meters, though. I don't if, know. Uh, this said 55, but I don't know if that was meters or not. It said, this is in meters. I, I guess i got to change the setting. I'm going to go over here. Okay. And do some cinematic between the trees. It's smooth. It's flying pretty smooth. I'll give it that. And I'm going to come over here. All right. All right, it sees us. It sees our cameraman. Look at that, Daryl. All Let right, me... bring it down so we can get a close-up of it for your B-roll. You know, B-roll's important. Hey, Daryl. Everybody say hello to Daryl. Oh, it knows Daryl's there. I don't like Darryl it. Daryl likes it's riding rich. a one wheel on the beach. He's currently single. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's married. He's married. Okay, Daryl, I'm gonna get it. Now get behind it and I'm gonna accelerate, all right? I think I just got Daryl a divorce. Yeah, you got us in trouble. <laughs> Daryl, get, be get behind, tell me when you're in position. Now, if we, you don't reverse that into Daryl or so we're going to the hospital. Go. All right, there we go. Dude, it looks crazy. Woohoo, <laughs> did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so sick. All right, Daryl, I'm gonna need you to duck. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Daryl, you want to try that motion? No, he doesn't want to try it. I don't want to try the wanker. No? No. I'm a pincher. Here we go. And... It that sounds, is insane, It sounds man. crazy. Wow, look at that bird flying by you, man. Where at? Where's the bird? Um, he, it was, uh, looked like a... Oh, I see him. I you see him. him? I don't want to go over there, he's by the wires. Looked like a hawk. Piloted aircraft nearby. All right, so that's telling you that uh, yeah, we'll stay low. ADSB is working at least. There's so. no way there's a piloted aircraft below this church roof. No, no, no. We're we're in what we consider a shielded operation because we're we're underneath like a building. So it, technically speaking, the FAA would look at this as a shielded operation if that existed here, which currently it does not. <clears throat> so you're getting a little bit more reckless. See if what does it say? All right. So, what do you think of the battery life so far? I get about uh, it's six good. minutes. Well, yeah. I mean, how long have we been going? Six minutes now, um, and I'm at thirty-nine percent. So when I fly normal FPV, I get about five and a half minutes out of a good rip yeah. on same battery. So you're flying a 6S battery. I get the same amount of battery life, um, which okay. is incredible. I want to bring it in here right. and land it now. All right, so come in slowly. Okay, let me come so in. So how, how do we land that? I don't think you press the red button. Does it tell you how to land? No. Huh. We don't know how to land? I don't know. Will you press that red button? Um, no, but it knows, Daryl, back up real quick because it knows you're there. It's freaking out. Where's the red button? Uh, what's this button? Aircraft braking. It's braked right now. So what if you press the red button? I think it's the lock. Is it? Oh yeah, you gotta hold that. Auto landing. See, so I hold never, down I, the red button. I never fly with the auto wanker. landing. I never fly with that. All right. Get crazy. So you didn't crash anything. I didn't crash. Um, that was actually. You know, I might be glad I forgot the controller. That was pleasant for me. I watched a guy fly this yesterday, and he was flying, I mean, just ripping on it super fast. And now for me, never seeing this, being a not, like a traditional FPV pilot, this is not natural to me, but for a lot of people, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're already programmed. I'm programmed differently than uh, you are. I'm not programmed, so that was fairly intuitive. It was almost like playing a Wii. Yeah, you sort know? of. But, oh man, that... That's fun, huh? That's addictive. You got a massive red spot. Can we Do just I? Can you bring that in here a bit? I just want... Okay. <laughs> that's, cool. That's, that's cool, dude. Oh man, thanks so much uh, for the tips and. Uh, yeah, man. Again, we should have started in normal mode, but we started in sport mode, and you did yeah. just fine. So, so I'm going yeah. to take this back to Jacksonville, 
Say goodbye to my good buddy Ken. Make sure you subscribe to his channel, Original Dobo. He does, he probably has more content on the DJI FPV than any channel out there. Um, everything you want to know about it, good and bad, is on his channel. All right. but, but I don't want to see you wanking the next time. Pinch. I mean, I'll wank privately okay. uh, because that is actually fun, but it is embarrassing <laughs> if people catch you doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Later, brother. Thanks a lot. Now, Ken calls the motion controller the wanker and kind of makes fun of it because he's a true FPV pilot. But like I said, maybe this product is not for people like Ken. Maybe this product is for people like me. And I'll tell you the truth. Um, I told him I wasn't going to use this anymore, but this is all I've been using. The controller is not as fun as this. And the main reason I love the DJI FPV drone is because of how fun it is. I don't even really care about filming with it. Um, I care about flying it. It is like a real life video game in my own neighborhood. Um, this motion controller is the most intuitive thing. It's basically like a stick in an airplane with a throttle. Um, it doesn't get easier than this. I, I actually can't believe that technology like this exists. It seems like there'd be some kind of lag or it'd be gimmicky. It look, I'm gonna admit it, it looks super gimmicky, but it's not. Trust me, this is so much fun. I'm able to, as almost with no experience, I'm able to get super cinematic footage um, with this. I can get smooth banks because it, I can just control it. It's so accurate. Um, the motion controller is where it's at. If you want, to learn how to do acro and everything, then you're going to need to transition to the regular controller. Um, but that takes time. But that's one of the amazing things about the DJI FPV drone is you can start off as a beginner and have fun all the way up to the point where you're doing advanced acro maneuvers in the manual setting. And when you exceed the capabilities of this, you can switch over to these um, custom built or these pre-built drones and take it to the next level. So let's get some technical stuff out of the way so we can get outside and have some fun with this thing. The DJI FPV drone is capable of reaching incredible speeds of 87 miles an hour. In manual mode, it can accelerate to 60 miles an hour in under two seconds. It can keep up with the new Tesla Model Roadster. DJI claims a battery life up to 20 minutes when taking it easy, but people are reporting about 12 minutes when flying aggressively in manual mode. It has an integrated GPS and it can hover with an accuracy of plus or minus five feet and down to about a foot when using the visual positioning system. It has forward and downward sensors that can warn when near obstacles and it'll slow the drone down while in normal mode. The DJI FPV drone is capable of recording in 4K at 60 frames a second and full HD up to 120 frames a second. Okay, now it's time to have some fun. We're out here with the DJI FPV drone. Uh, downtown Jacksonville on the Riverwalk. There's some really cool stuff to fly around here over the water, some boats going. Um, we're gonna make sure we don't get over anybody with this. And I also have Daryl, the cameraman. He's gonna act as a spotter also. So we make sure we meet the FAA regulations anytime we're flying this drone. So I got the goggles on, the battery pack is in my pocket and I am using the motion controller because what, I, what can I say, it's super fun. So right here, there's a little red button. If I double click it, arms the props hold it down and the drone takes off. Now we're in normal mode right now, but I can pull the trigger and fly this thing around. And notice, notice whatever I do with this controller, it is so accurate. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and click it into sport mode and then let's go. Oh my God, so cool. This is so much fun. Look, there's a boat right there. Look at this boat just ripping. Wow, I can just stop right here behind the boat. Look at this, just. Now these boats are normally going about 25 miles an hour in here. Now with this thing, even with, the, even with this motion controller, I can still go like 60 something miles an hour. Watch how fast I can pass this boat up. This is, I literally feel like a jet fighter right now. Look, here's a couple jet skis. Look at that, that is too cool. Right under the bridge, I swear. The Blue Angels are in town and I feel like a Blue Angel right now. 
Here we are back. Let's go into this bridge. And I can see the home point on the screen right now. So I know right where home is. Here we are. So cool. I have such good control over this right now. Really intuitive. And right now I am going 60 miles an hour with a motion controller. I feel like I'm playing a Wii. It's so cool. Here's a little abandoned dock. And anytime I let go of the trigger, the drone is just going to stop right there and I can, I can look around. This is so much fun. I'm telling you guys, this motion controller is where it's at. I can hear this boat driving by. I can hear it, but I... <laughs> oh, I think they were waving. So cool. Look at that. We're only at 62% battery and I've been ripping around for a few minutes now. Hey, hey Daryl, you wanna try this? Absolutely. Okay. Now, when you land it, I can just fly it over here. I'll go ahead and switch. Look, I can see us down there. There we are. Okay, I'm gonna switch this thing into normal mode. And I'm just gonna fly it down here real slow. Coming up right next to myself. All right, so there I am. And if I hold down the red button, it's just gonna auto land right next to me. I mean, this, this is next level fun. I'm not even kidding. Um, I'm, Daryl, you don't even know how to fly drones and I'm gonna let you fly this and you're gonna see how easy this is. It is so much fun. I don't care what Ken says, uh, I'm using the wanker, <laughs> okay? And now pull the trigger slowly as you're going up. See where the little dot is in the middle of the screen? Mm -hmm. That's where it's gonna fly towards. What's your battery percentage on the very bottom of the 43. 43, okay, you got a couple minutes. 93 on the goggles. You got a couple minutes, pull the trigger faster, and then you can kind of move the controller up and down, and you go up, and then side goes that way, and this way goes that way. And then you tilt down, it flies down. See that? Fantastic. Okay, it's there easy. you go, super easy. Now point back at us, and you'll see that it shows, fly back towards us, and you'll see it shows a home screen. Remember so how I do I said, turn it all the I way said around? lean it. Lean it, okay. That's, Perfect. See that? If you lean it, it'll keep spinning. If you just twist it, it just kind of goes back and forth. So you should be able to see a home point that shows us over I here. I see us now. Yes, yep. and I see the H for home. Yep, so that's how you always know where home is. Now you can come fly by and head towards this bridge over here. But look, first time, how intuitive is this? It's easy. Super easy. Now you're in normal mode. You can go and fly on that way. There you go. Pull up a little bit, and then there's a jet ski over there to your right. If you fly to your right, you can I see it. And that easy. Super easy. I mean, you're, you're flying FPV drone right now. Chasing a jet ski. Chasing a jet ski. Now, get up a little higher, okay? okay. And then we're gonna click this button here. Let go, stop for a second. Okay. And now it's in sport mode. So it's gonna go about 60 miles an hour now. You'll really be able to tell the difference. So okay. be, be, just stay, keep a little altitude here. Okay. But how easy do you think it is? I see you ripping over there. I know. That thing is so fast. You're heading towards the bridge. Whoa. Don't go over the bridge because we don't want to go over cars. That's not safe. 
Okay, it says low battery. I would okay. head back this way. Battery's at 30, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. come back home. Yep, it'll I start giving the you batteries warning. Yeah, come back home. Just fly, yeah, there you go. This is my no. first time flying a drone and I would buy one now. Yeah, because instantly, it's that easy. right? Okay, so let's put it back in normal mode. Okay. And it'll fly right over, uh, point down and pull the trigger real slowly and point right down at us. Okay. Okay. I hear it. Yep, so stop right there. Now okay. what we can do is just hold, don't do anything, hold this button down and it's gonna auto land. You don't have to do anything. It's gonna land by itself. This is my new favorite toy. There you go. Now, one of the main differences between a drone like this and a drone like this is this thing has GPS built into it. It levels, it can stop itself. If it, if it gets out of range, it can return to home. If the battery is getting low, it'll return to home. Some people don't like that. Some people like the control. And that's one of the things that the FPV community has been hating on about this. But for those people who just want to go out and have fun, those safety features do help you always get this thing back in one piece. Um, I don't mind them myself because if I'm doing something past the limits of what the software thinks I should be doing, then I'm probably exceeding my skill set at this moment in time. Now I put this sound bite into the intro, but one of the coolest things is when you turn this thing on, it makes an absolutely scary sound. <laughs> it sounds like a monster from a movie. Um, it's really wild. Uh, it's super cool. This drone is next level. Um, I have GPS drones. I like flying them, but I've gotten bored with them. I have FPV drones, but I'm not good enough to fly them. But I am good enough to fly this, and, I, and it is the most fun thing I have. I flew it like eight times the other day. I only have one battery, so I kept coming home, charging it, going right back out. But now, um, I've ordered two more batteries. I'm hoping they'll get here soon so I can go out and fly this thing all day. Super fun. Um, let me give my final thoughts and then we'll get out of here. If you're a seasoned FPV pilot, then the DJI FPV may not be for you. But if you want to experience the thrill of FPV and minimize the risk and learning curve, I say give it a shot. DJI bit off a lot when they attempted to make a drone this capable. But considering something like this has never been built before, I think they knocked it out of the park. I've been flying this daily for the last month and it still makes me smile every time I take off. And that's what this drone is all about. Not winning races, being the most aerobatic, or even creating the smoothest footage. It's about having fun with the highest probability of not crashing. All right guys, that's the DJI FPV drone and the optional motion controller that shouldn't be an option. You should definitely get this. This is the most fun way to fly this drone in my opinion. Um, if you guys wanna see more, please check out some more videos. There's a couple right here. And make sure you subscribe, we really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time right here on Unbox Warehouse.